Russell Zeker, Executive Vice President of Lionsgate TV Music. I've been fortunate enough during my time here to work and in many ways influence in some small way some of our most noted shows, such as Weeds, Mad Men, Orange is the New Black, and Nashville. Today, I find myself in Nashville at one of my favorite studios, Sound Emporium, with many of the finest studio musicians and people I know, and I'm on a very different side of the desk. We're here to create hybrids, using contemporary songs and setting them in the world of gospel music. What originally prompted this idea was finding the right tonality for a scripted drama that Lionsgate is producing for Oprah Winfrey's own network. The show is written and created by Craig Wright, and the premise revolves around a southern dynastic family whose patriarch is the bishop and cornerstone of the black megachurch set in Memphis. Has God given me a message for the people of God today? I'm co-producing these sessions with Tim Lauer, and we found songs that were very much written from a point of view of the human experience and turned them into vertical conversations with the heavens to challenge, make statements to, or further discuss with God. If any music should be honest and visceral and gut level and authentic, it should be gospel music. The music in and of itself, just by itself, can still communicate and cover the ground that the show is going to cover in the way the characters develop. Every long lost dream led me to where you Others who broke my heart, they were like northern stars, pointing me on my way into your loving arms. This much I know is true that God bless the broken road that led me straight to you. Recording these songs has given us the ability to work with artists as diverse as two-time Grammy winner Mavis Staples, who sang our main title song, the McCrary Sisters, Melinda Doolittle from American Idol, and Nashville rapper Jelly Roll, who delivered two powerful personal testimonials in the verses he tackled. Praise God even when it's hard to. Been through what I've been through, you probably hate God too. This is my lifestyle, I'm talking right now. Too many sins for God to come here and wipe out. I said, Lord, could you hear me now? I want the music that I listen to that addresses God to have the level of authenticity and honesty and rough edges and believability. I think that's what we're doing right now. Ring them bells, ye heathen, from the city that dreams. Ring them bells from the sanctuary, across the valleys and the streams. running backwards, so is the bride. With this project in particular, I feel I've been led to this as a particular platform, not for myself and for my own values, but as a platform where I can intersect with the music of it, which I truly think is the voice of God. When we hear music, it affects our soul. 